From Upper Michigan Source, I'm meteorologist Carl Bonac. This is weather on demand for April the 3rd. The official high was at midnight. It was still mild at 42, the low 21. So put it all together and we're very close to average for April the 3rd, even though the daylight was quite cold and blustery. And even though the cold airs moved back in before that happened, the first peeper report was heard in Gogebic County right around the airport last evening. That peeper is the sentinel of spring because it signifies the fact that the lowlands and swamps have thawed out. And as soon as that happens, the tree frogs begin their mating call. So spring is definitely here. However, it doesn't feel that way because, well, we had a big trough dig in here now and the cold has moved into this trough and will dominate for a while. As we move into early next week, the northern branch will still remain strong while a new trough comes into the western U.S. and there's a westerly flow through the center portion of the country. These two streams come together and that promotes the strengthening of high pressure right in between. So the way it looks, We'll have quiet weather once we get through the weekend and a couple of disturbances moving by and also rather chilly weather because with high pressure generally up to our north, we'll get a northeasterly wind most of the time. This system down to the south will likely stay there with all the action, rain, even some snow and mixed precipitation well north closer to this cold high. If this trough comes together in one piece and lifts out, there's a chance that we could see a stronger low head toward the Great Lakes later next week. Not a certainty, but there is a chance. As far as uh, temperatures go tonight, it'll be colder with a uh, very little wind developing and a period of clear skies that'll help temperatures fall into the teens. Then we're expecting the next system to roll in. That system should be right over the uh, Great Lakes and Lake Superior tomorrow with a chance of a bit of snow. First of all, in the wee hours in the western UP, a few flurries could then spread across the rest of upper Michigan. This system goes by, winds will swing to the northwest, and uh, temperatures should be in the mid to upper 30s. We'll recover some in the northern and eastern UP, and in the south, uh, temperatures could move up to around 40, around Ironwood, maybe into the low to mid 40s in places like Iron Mountain, Escanaba, and Menominee. Then on Sunday, the front will move farther south and slowly recede to the south. There will be a couple of disturbances or waves of low pressure moving along it. So there will be some areas of snow likely forming because of chilly high pressure feeding the cold air on northeasterly winds. There's a chance that uh, the far southern UP could get scraped by one of these systems. Otherwise, look for some filtered sunshine with temperatures of anything somewhat colder than what we expect on Saturday. Generally saying around uh, 30, maybe the upper 20, some spots in the north, especially in the eastern UP with that northeast wind blowing off the remaining ice field here over eastern uh, Lake Superior to the south. Temperatures should cool back into the mid to upper 30s for highs. Your TV six day forecast looking ahead into early next week. That high to the north should dominate at least for Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures still somewhat below average.